Hi, welcome to the Welders Workshop. I'm Carl Hose from the Lincoln Electric Company. We're going to talk today a little bit about flux core versus MIG welding. First of all, there's two types of flux core welding. There's gas shielded flux core welding and there's self shielded flux core welding. We're going to be talking about the self shielded flux core welding today. Self shielded flux core welding does not use a gas shielding and it operates on DC negative polarity. Works great in the wind because the gas shielding, there is no gas shielding to be blown away and it works good on rusty or dirty metals. Also works better on thicker materials and has a little bit better portability because there's no gas bottle necessary. When you get into MIG welding, we're using a gas shielding and a solid wire and there is no slag systems which creates a clean weld, a nice clean weld that's ready to paint when you're done with it. Uh, it works a little better on thin materials and um, gas shielded MIG welding operates on DC positive polarity. If you don't use uh, the correct polarity for the process you're using, they're going to have some crummy looking welds. Another tip is to use the proper drive rolls. We use a knurled drive roll for flux core welding and we use a smooth V roll for solid wire MIG welding. Welding is safe when you follow the safety rules. Protect yourself and others from fire and explosion. Some precautions include do not weld on containers that held flammable materials. Do not weld on containers with unknown contents. Refer to AWS.org for more information. Refer to safety in welding and cutting at LincolnElectric.com for more information. Remember, always read and follow warning labels. 